louder. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do have the pamphlet in your hand, please uh, open with me. Let's quickly reflect on the very last uh, stanza of the hymn that we just read. Let's echo it to one another. Can we quickly do that in a moment, please? One, two, three, let's go. The third one. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Perfect submission. All is in my Savior. I'm happy. Are you happy? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. Let's go to the next uh, line. Watching and waiting, looking at all. Filled with his goodness, love, and his love. In this very particular word, I want to uh, indulge us this evening that let's be in a happy state as we are all in the hands of God. Right about time now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome one of the beautiful grand uh, child of Mama. Please celebrate with me in the house as I welcome for the very first Bible reading. Miss Nkechi Nguma. Please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for this wonderful lady. Please celebrate her. Put your hands together for her. God bless you. Job 14, verse 1 to 5. Man that is born of a woman is a few days old and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He flew also as a shadow and continueth not. And dost thou upon thine eyes, upon such an one, and bringest me into judgment with thee. Who can bring a clean thing out of unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Miss Nkechi Nkoma. You can do better. Put your hands together for her. That is a wonderful reading. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, again, let's go to the very next Bible reading on the pamphlet. We would like to skip item number six, which is the second theme. And now we'll go to item number seven. Some uh, papers have been distributed to us for our reading, and when we get there, we'll make use of it. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome with me, uh, one of the grandchild of Mama as well. Welcome, Mr. Tayo Adi Larry. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for this handsome, tall young man. You can do better, put your hands together for him. You can do better. God bless you. Psalm 27, verse one to fourteen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Through a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. For he will conceal me there when trouble comes, he will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me, at his sanctuary, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with my music. Hear me as I pray, O Lord. Be merciful and answer me. My heart has heard you say, come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. Do not turn your back on me. Do not reject your servant in anger. You have always been my helper. Don't leave me now. Don't abandon me, O oh God of my salvation. Even if my father and mother abandon me, the Lord will hold me close. Teach me how to live, O oh Lord. Lead me along the right path, for my enemies are waiting for me. Do not let me fall into their hands, for they accuse me of things I've never done. With every breath, they threaten me with violence. Yet I am confident I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here, in the land of the living. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. 
yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Please celebrate the song, Some Young Man. Please, you can look at that, put your hands together for Mr. Kayo Akelemo. All right. So the next grandchild of my mother that I'm going to call now and then what to use this podium. Okay. So it's connected to the... So when I invite you now, you can come and read it from the podium or we can actually bring the podium to the center of the stage right here. Okay, it's fine right here. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, before I call the next person, I believe we'll have the piece of paper that we have now. So we are going to substitute the, the hymn here for item number four. Item number six. So item number six will not be, it is well with my soul. Rather, it's going to be in Christ alone. So ladies and gentlemen, right about now, let's have the the beautiful granddaughter of Mama, Miss Angela Arobadi, wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Grandson, I'm very sorry. Another grandson of Mama, please celebrate Angela Arobadi. God bless you. Psalm 42. As the heart panted, as the heart panted after the water broke, so panted my soul after thee, O oh God. My soul thirsted for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my meat day and night, or they continually say unto me, Where is thy God? When I remember these things, I, I pour my soul in me, for I had gone with the multitude. I went with them to the house of God. With the voice of joy and praise, with the multitude I kept holy day. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. O oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan and of the Hemonites, from the hill of Mizar. Deep calleth unto deep at the noise of thy water spout. All thy waves and thy billows are gone over me. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night his song shall be with me, and my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto God, my Lord, why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As with the sword in my bones, my enemies reproach me. But they say daily unto me, where is thy God? Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall hear praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. The Lord bless the hearing of the word in Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate the handsome young man. Please you can do that celebrating. So when I tell you to celebrate people with endeavor to clap for them, otherwise it's like you're clapping for yourself as well. So ladies and gentlemen, celebrate the handsome young man. God bless you. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the next thing on the agenda. Like I said before, we are going to substitute in Number one, the item number four, we are going to be reading in Christ alone. And right after that, we'll go straight to item number six, which is another hymn. So we are reading two hymns consecutively. We're going to be reading in Christ alone, and we are going to sing in two, which is it is well with my soul. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me the choir of Christ Apostolic Church, Stony Highland. Please let's rise to our feet, and this time, let's echo our voice. We are singing to God. And we are reading others into God alone. So please let's rise to our feet. And right after that, we're going to be going to the reflection and testimony time. Amen. Uh -huh. 
Smile to them and tell them it is well with your soul, sir. Oh, look at this movie. I like that. Say it like you mean it. Say it is well with my soul. All right. It's well with your soul. Now you can have your seat in the presence of God. Right about now, let's go to a very, very wonderful and important moment that we've been waiting for. And one of the main reasons why... We are here to gather here this evening to celebrate a life well spent of Mama Gladys Adido Jalaita. Huh? Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to the testimony and the reflection time. The reason why this very particular spot is important is because one day you and I will be lying in state like this, and people will be talking about the deeds that we've done, the impact that we've made in life, how many lives, how many lives we've touched and how we ran our race. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, I have some names here with me, but before I call those names, I would like to throw it to the floor right now. I will be needing two to three grandchildren to speak about their grandmother. So if you are interested, just signify to me so I can call you by name. I will be needing the children as well, maybe one or two, to speak about their dear mother, and I will throw like three people to the audience. We want to run everything up in the next 15 to 16 minutes, so we're going to be according two minutes each to every speaker. Please, because of our time, let's stick to time. Do we get my message? So I'll be leaving it to the audience to come and speak, especially family and friends who are related with Mama while she was alive. But right before we get started now, I would like to welcome the names that have officially been given to me. Ladies and gentlemen, the first person on my list that I'll be calling this evening, please celebrate one of the wonderful in-law to Mama, Mr. Remy Oduba. Please, wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen, celebrate them. If you don't clap, you clap for yourself. That's it, come, come. That's it, yeah. I'm calling you to come and talk now. You get started. All right. So the next person on the line will be Mr. Martins Nguma. Please get ready. Please celebrate uh, my handsome daddy. He's, a, he's an in-law to Mama, I believe. Thank you very much. I didn't even know this guy makes this much fun. <laughs> um, well, I will be, if you said two minutes, I will say this in just two minutes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, you see, I knew Mama like almost 40 years ago. And one thing I will tell you about Mama is that she was the Bible that I can tell you I read. She, in so many ways, showed me so many things. And I'm thankful for that. Like I said, I can tell you, she's no longer here to, to hear what I'm saying, but she actually was a Bible that I read. Thank you. Wow. Somebody say, wow. wow. You can acclimate like, Mama to a whole Bible. Wow. Pastor, in the contemporary world, people are saying that we are even the Bible that people read. That's a, that's a, that's a great word to encapsulate it. Please celebrate Mr. Remy Oduba. Please, ladies and gentlemen, put them together. For that has summarized it all. Like Mama lived an exemplary life. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome with me, Mr. Martins Nguma. Another fantastic Ma Maxim. Oh, Mr. Maxim, please forgive me if I mispronounce or misspelled your name. Mr. Maxim Nguma, wherever you are. Oh, he quickly went to Canada. Okay, who we'll wait? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's celebrate another fantastic uh, in law of Mama, Mr. Femi Arubaji. Wherever you are, please, ladies and gentlemen, celebrate our handsome daddy here. Let's hear from another fantastic uh, in law. Maybe Mama collected 20 billion uh, while you were about to take a dollar. God bless you, sir. Good evening, everyone. My name is Femi Arubaji. Uh, I, I met Mommy over 20, 22 years ago, there about while I was courting her daughter. Um, I, 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 since mommy passed on, I've been trying to look um, 
for a word. Just like um, Uncle Remy spoke about mommy. I'm trying to look for a word that I can use to describe what a wonderful woman. A mother indeed. I've never seen somebody who makes sacrifices. So much sacrifices. Hmm. Mommy has been very, very, very kind to me and my family. Words, words are just too, too small to, to express how kind she's been. I remember when um, I had my second daughter, I was still way back in Nigeria. Mommy came all the way from America to about then. And um, she was with us all through, guided us on how to go about it, in mother in truth and in deed. May her gentle so rest in perfect peace. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Baba was a little bit uh, emotional at some point. God bless you. That shows how wonderful Mama is lived a life, and I, I picked the word, sacrificial life, and I believe all moms, all mothers, always live, always live sacrificial life. Thank you very much. Right about now, let's welcome another great in-law of my mom, Mr. Sheldon Adi Lerin. Please pardon me by mispronounce or misspell the name, but I hope I got it. Please, ladies and gentlemen, celebrate this handsome husband to his own wife. God bless you, sir. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I know they gave us uh, just two minutes. Two minutes is not enough to to say something about this uh, our mother. I call her mother because she's like a mother to me. Uh, if you're looking for a, a very strong woman, strong old woman, this is her. She is very strong. She's selfless. And like uh, my brother here said, she's the Bible that, you know, that is reading. To me also, when I look at her, very prayerful, she prays a lot. I just love her. Rest in peace, Mama. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for putting your hands together before I see. But please, one more time, please celebrate Mr. Sheldon. I feel him. All right. Thank you. Those are powerful and momentous words. Right about now, let's have uh, two of the children. Okay, just volunteer. Make a quick meeting. Like I said, I'll, or you want me to pinpoint? Ah, one mom is already wiping her tail. Oh, somebody's here. Oh. Do you want me to be for it? Baby. The, okay, let's have the baby on the house first then. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know her name, but please put your hands together for the baby on the house. Yes. 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 Mrs. Yes. Yes. Mrs. Yemi Adelaine, thank you. Sorry, I'm not old enough to call you baby, but that one we say baby, so I will adopt that name, baby of the house. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good evening, everyone. I don't know what to say. Like they said, I'm sorry. Um, I was really privileged to spend the last three weeks with my mom. It's it's a it's a privilege to be with her every single day for three weeks before she passed. Ah, like my sister always says, Yanni Yanni, she's the best. She is the best. Even since we're young, oh, I always say something, eh? like, can you share me? Don't she share? That's what makes you rich. 
she's supposed to be a multi billionaire because she's very hardworking. From the start, she's very, very hardworking. She's loved by everybody. She has so many children, apart from us, so many. She watched out for, you know, other people's children. When we're young, and some, you know, you know, you know, some little girls going to other people's home when they're supposed to be in school, she will go in there to send them out that they're supposed to be in school. Very prayerful, very hardworking, and like my husband said, very strong old woman. Sometimes I want to do something. My mom will tell me, "Yemi mabe lori jembe ebe." I'll be like, "Mommy, she ain't going to be me. I be able to be." I love you so much, Mom. I love you very much. You are the best of the best. We'll continue to remember you. We'll love you from the bottom of our hearts. We will never, never forget you, Mom. We love you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate how you can do better. Put your hands together. Those are mentors. Very powerful work. Sacrificial, hardworking. You cannot just comprehend the love of a mother. For all the mommies in the house, the Lord will bless you. Amen. Thank you for being a mother. Right about now, do we have another child of Mama that wants to speak before we move to the grandchildren? All right, okay. All right, you already pointed to us. Okay, let's have the, the elders, mommy. Uh, please celebrate in the house, Mrs. Nike Oduba. Thank you very much. God bless you, man. Thank you. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming here to celebrate our mom. I'll try to stay strong. Yes, I'm the one that always says, yummy, yummy. My mom was a symbol of strength. Many people who she has interacted with will say she was very gentle. Yes, my mom was gentle, but firm. She was a disciplinarian, but she would discipline you, correct you, direct you with love and with good example. My mom was very compassionate. She was very hardworking. If anyone could see her arm, she got this mark from very hot oil on her right arm. She went through a lot, supporting my dad through the storms of life. But my mom, even though she was from an influential family, stood firmly by my dad's side. Through the rough times, my mom was consistent. And she did every reasonable thing to ensure that us, her children, would become Useful citizens. My mom was simple. Very simple. She was selfless. She looked out for the less privileged. Whatever she had, she would share with those that she considered less privileged. Whenever I was going to the boarding school, yes, she was very quiet. She was a woman of very few words. But when she spoke, each of our words carried weight. She would look at me and say, Okomi, in Yoruba, roti omeniti, won't she? She didn't have to say anything more than that. So our guests and our family members who do not know the 
Jehovah. That translates to remember the child of whom you are. It carries so much weight. Mom, we love you. We'll never forget you. The values that you instilled with us, we will carry for the rest of our lives. And we will try to ensure that we live by those values. Rest in perfect peace, Mom. Thank you. You can do better, ladies and gentlemen. Please celebrate Mrs. Nikki Oduba. Please put your hands together for her. Thank you very much. Right about now, like I've said the other time, let's have three or two of the grandchildren to speak about whom grandma was while she was alive. Do you want me to pinpoint or we just want to do a quick meeting and volunteer? I'm waiting very quickly. And after that, we'll throw it to the audience. We want three people from the audience as well. Please, let's stick to time because our time is almost running out of us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate the first person. And I believe we still have two more. Put your hands together for her. Oh, okay. I'm Edward. I'm her um, eldest grandchild, granddaughter. Um, you hear everything about her as a mother. Just imagine as a grandma. It was that times, in my opinion, 20. I don't even think there's a number for it. Grandma, every conversation we had, she made sure to use it to fill up my head and my heart, to make sure that I knew that God was always with me and that um, I don't have to worry about anything and that I'm so loved. And she, she really made you feel loved. She made you feel like you were her world, every conversation you have with her. And I'll miss her so much, but I feel so blessed to even have had her as my grandmother. I didn't know her her whole life, but she knew me my whole life. And she definitely impacted me a lot. So I'll miss her a lot. When I was younger, even when I was in elementary school, my grandma would wake up before me every day, <laughs> before school. And this was at like 5, 6 a.m. And she'd make sure I ate, she'd make sure that she said bye to me and that she loved me every single day. And having that as a child was very nice. I feel blessed just to have been her granddaughter. And I feel that with her, all her daughters, I'm so blessed to have so many aunties and a mother who just carries the best parts of her so well. So I know that I'm blessed to have that for the rest of my life and my family. And I will forever thank Grandma for that. Thank you. Thank you. Please celebrate me, Sebo Buddha. God bless you. And uh, in her words, she said, whenever she spoke with Grandma, she would always instill the word of God in her and make her know that God is on her side. That is wonderful. Please celebrate that one more time as we have the second grandchild. And we are the meeting, please. Let's welcome the second grandchild that she's about, about to talk about grandma. Please put your hands together for her. Let's let's put your hands together for her. And she comes for what God bless you. Thank you. Hello, Hello. Um, I'm the second grandchild of Josephine Rua Shemiwari Baude. If there's one word to describe grandma is she's the true embodiness of happiness. Even when I was down or whenever I was sad, as soon as I see grandma's face, I can't help but notice I'm smiling myself without realizing. She really was a caring person and she really was a mother to us all. She was indeed prayerful and again, even though I didn't know her her whole entire life, she did technically raise me as well. She always taught me life lessons, how to be resourceful, how to be grateful for the things you have, but also that hard work does pay off. So thank you, Grandma, for all the life lessons you gave me and for raising my dad as well. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you. Please, ladies and gentlemen, celebrate Miss Shimi Falodi. That's a very powerful word, embodiment of happiness. So indeed, Grandma carries a happy energy. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome. Please make welcome, Mrs. Tuhu Falode. Please elevate her, please. You can do better, put your hands together for her. I think I'm still waiting for Mr. Maxim Nguma. But right before now, let's welcome Mrs. Tuhu Falode. God bless you, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. My name is Oluwa Tuhu Falode. If I start to say something about drama, I won't finish. Um, I'm, I'm really so emotional, but I have to come to talk on behalf of my little son. Because, whew, I can just describe grandma as, grandma show was a blessing to all of us. Because my husband so, spoke a lot of things regarding grandma, you know, to me. If not because of grandma, I'm not going to be where I am today. And my husband spoke a lot to my children regarding grandma. I'm so thankful to be part of grandma's life. I'm really blessed that I love grandma. I'm just gonna describe her that she was a blessing indeed to all of us. And we really thank God for our life. I pray that grandma's uh, will rest in perfect peace. In Jesus' name, I will never forget grandma. Grandma, we love you so much. And on behalf of my husband, continue to rest in peace. In Jesus' name. We love you so much, God. Thank you, Mrs. Tuhu Paluti. Please celebrate her. Thank you very much. God bless you. Right about now, like I said before, we want to give an opportunity for two to three people from the audience to please speak. Thank you for raising your hand. I'll give you number one, Daddy. I'll give you number two. And I think I need one more person. Number Mama, raise her hand before you. So let's make it ladies for it. Okay, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Okay. Mr. Maxine is here. All right. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. But before then, let's quickly have a grandson so that we can balance the equation. Let's quickly have a grandson from Mama to come and speak very briefly about how oh, God bless you. Look at this handsome, confident man. Please celebrate him, celebrate him. Oh, he's already a vision and a voice goes here. Oh, grandma is such a wonderful woman. God bless you. Please tell us your name. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. not just a mother, she, 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 she was a very wonderful mother. Grandma is someone that loves so dearly and um, she has a lot of strength in her and her strength really helped us all. She's very caring, very loving, 
Sometimes I describe her love as extreme love. And she's, she's never really doing good things. She, she's always, you know, just trying to make everyone happy. Grandma denies herself a lot of things just to make everyone around her happy. Grandma reminds me of my mom, my biological mom. And grandma, that we are here today to celebrate her life, is someone no one will forget. Because, let me just put it this way, she took care of everyone. She showed so much love. She was ready at any time of the day to come to your help and your rescue if the need arises. Grandma will miss you. We love you so much. May you rest in the bosom of our dear Lord. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Please put your hands together for Mr. Martin Ngoma. Thank you very much, sir. She has also, he has also spoken about how strong, selfless, caring, and happy mom that grandma was. Ladies and gentlemen, right about now, let's have the mommy uh right to my left hand side here let's uh stick to time and then we'll have the daddy i also need one more person if you're interested <laughs> all right so maybe we'll reduce it to one minute going forward okay, okay please we want to make it very snappy because we still have a couple of items on the agenda that we want to run through very quickly thank you god bless you but before you proceed please express your name and you can speak about mommy let's have it in the next one minute god bless you man my name is mercy sien and I'm not related to the family by blood, but um, they are my family. That's how I can say it. It started with uh, Sister Itunde, and, uh, and then before I knew it, I met the other Sister Yumi, and then I met Sister Nikki. And then I thought, these people come from very good stock, you know. And, um, and they were all one and the same, very, very, very kind and very, I don't know, they just beautiful souls. And then fortunately for me, I met Mama a few years later and I can't believe that I got that blessed. She adopted me, she adopted me in kind, in deed, in words. I had opportunity to spend time with her here and there, and sometimes intentionally to go visit so I can see her and talk to her. And she blessed me so much. She parted so much with her. This woman has the strength of a lion, I don't even know. At least she was a beautiful soul, and Mama, God bless you. Continue to rest in peace, and I love you so much. Love you forever, forever, forever. Thank you very much. Right about now, like I said, thank you for sticking to the time. Let's have uh, Mr. Sanyaolu Olumide all the way from New Jersey as uh, he comes forward to speak some words about Mama. Let's stick to the time. God bless you. Please, ladies and gentlemen, celebrate him. You can do better. Put your hands together for me. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the life of our mom, Mama. I knew her like, uh, I think, 30 years ago. She was the one that raised my wife. You know, I'm talking on behalf of everybody from Timidire in Ibadan. So, mommy has been a very caring person in the neighborhood. My wife used to tell me that ah, everybody in the neighborhood during the Christmas, she used to give a lot. She's a giver. When you ask anybody in that area, if they had this funeral in Nigeria, I'm telling you to be so much people that will come. And mommy raised a lot of people that are not even our own kids. So I thank God for her life. She has left me a very good legacy for every one of us. You know, when we I used to attend Winners Chapel in Badon. And every time I, you know, went to their house at the meeting, 
When he asked me, did you use your anointing? Did you wait for the anointing service? Or did you wait for the communion? Or have you done your work? You know, as a lot of things, I was like, ah, she's a virtuous woman. Amen. I'm telling you, she's a real virtuous woman. And I thank God for her life. You know, and I pray that she, as in her soul rest in peace. Amen. You know, there was a time I came to America about 25 years ago. Along the line, I came to the same time with Yeni. We won American lottery that time. So I, at one point, I had an amen, you know, on the line eight men. For eight years, I was on dialysis. And every time, mommy always challenged me by calling me. So she would talk to me, and she would pray with me. She would encourage me. I remember one day, I was almost giving up. And I was at the dialysis, I was like, Whatever happened, let it happen. I don't even care anymore. But her message, you know, her call just came in. And she gave me a word of encouragement. She was like, Olumili, don't forget you are a winner. And I tell you, remember how Papa used to preach to us that there's no situation, there's nothing that you are going through. Just know you are not going to die in this situation. And I held on to that word. And I thank God, about last year, I got my kidney and I'm alive, bouncing in the Lord. I keep going to the name of the Lord. I'm just seeing daddy for the first time after 2003. That was my first time of seeing daddy. Daddy is there for us, Lord God Jesus. You know, I give glory to the name of the Lord for mommy. You know, she has been an encouragement to me a lot. And I give glory to the name of the Lord. They used to call my wife, Kekiri. Because we had an introduction in their house at the meeting. We were supposed to rent a hall. But mommy said, no, we're going to have the wedding, you know, the introduction in their house. I was here then. So mommy is always, you know, be the forefront of everything. If he's organizing a wedding in Nigeria, you know, she's good in doing that a lot. You know, and I give glory to the name of the Lord for the life that she has lived. And I pray that every one of us will live long in the name of Jesus. And that we have good things to say about us when we leave this world in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Sayao Lim Kolumide. Now, right about now, let's have Dickiness, Akindele. Please, let's be mindful of the time. We still have a couple of things on the agenda that we need to touch before we all depart and meet tomorrow. Please celebrate Dickiness, Akindele. You can do better. Celebrate them. Like I told you, you are celebrating people, you are celebrating yourself. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. My auntie, Princess Ade Doja. She's the daughter of um, Odofi, of Egbaland. She's Ni Ade Inka, I'm Ni Ade Inka. Um, she's such a wonderful, peaceful woman. Meek, humble. I think her name should have been Peace, not Ade Doja. I've never seen any woman being that has never been angry one way or the other, but not my auntie. She doesn't even know how to get angry. She doesn't even know how to be annoyed. She doesn't know how to. That's just very kind, very meek. I don't even know what else to say about her. That she's just that a wonderful, wonderful woman. She's so wonderful in, in the Adeika family that even the people that have not met her, they know her by name. They know her by name. They've not even met her. But because of the, her nature, she will call you, she will pray for you. She's always there. We will miss her greatly. But I thank God for her life. Because, because that prayer that you will reap the fruit of your labor. That's one prayer that is made for her. Even though she died at 84, we didn't want her to go. But indeed, my auntie worked so hard. And indeed, except we want to deny God. God spare her life to reap 
the fruit of our labor. Look at the children. Look how blessed the grandchildren. She lived in Nigeria and she was blessed to come to America and for the children in turn to take care of her. We thank God. What else can you ask for? For you to take care of your children and indeed for your children to turn back and love you and take care of you while you are alive. I think she's the blessed woman. And I thank God for that. That God spare our life for that to happen in our life. I give God all the glory. And to me, I'm a lot of people. 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 I love you so very much. God bless you. You've made a day in family proud. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please, you can do better. Put your hands together for me. Of a talent. Late adoption of a talent. She's the third child out of eight. She exemplifies our family core values. As we celebrate her life today, our people in Nigeria, our family, hundreds of them, are watching. We have a family Zoom platform that thousands of us uh, in Abeokuta belong to. They mandated us to form another platform for the children and grandchildren. Because of the core value that Mama has ex exemplified all our life, centuries of hard work, our hard core values, fortitude of hard work, my mind exemplifies that, generation of grace instilled in her by our family. Over 300 years of history, and one of the historians of the family that dates back to 1864. Uh, so that history, again, my mom exemplifies that. She learned it from her father. Her father was three years old when his father, my great-grandfather, passed away. His uncle took on the leadership role, raising him, sending him to school before he paid for his own children's school fees. He would pay for his grandfather's school fees. My mom did the same thing. When our sister passed away, that core value of love fortitude of hard work, she took on her sister's child, loving that son like her own. So I speak to the grandchildren. We have a history that dates back before slavery. We have a book we've written. It behooves you to learn about my mom. Where did my mom get all this love, fortitude? It's from my grandparents from the love of our family. Hard work, fierce pride, moral, a moral compass, knowing who the child of who you are. She so much believed in it, believed in education. The, the success that we see with all the children today is based on my mom's love. So my mom, so they, one more, you need to One more show, one more program you on Zoom. Best you share example that facility. We will follow your lead. Thousands of years, best you share that to you the family. We will continue. God bless you. I love you. Continue to sleep well till we meet again. Thank you very much. People, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate him. You can do better. Please put your hands together for him. And that is Mr. Yodin Jari Inka. Right about now, let's have the, the, the next person, then we'll go to the next thing on the agenda. Please celebrate with me as I make welcome, Mr. Olabode. Wherever you are, please put your hands together for him. Mr. Ol <coughs> Mrs. Olabode, please, pardon me. Let's celebrate Mrs. Olabode in the house. You can do that. Please put your hands together for her. God bless you. Good evening, everybody. 
everybody. My name is um, Mrs. Bosella Bode. My mom is Nina um, Waito. That's uh, daddy's younger sister. And uh, I grew up in the hands of mommy. It's like I was delivered in her hands. And uh, ever since, she took me like uh, her daughter. All of us are my siblings. Even when we lost our mom, she stood there for us. And when I came to US and then uh, contacted my sister, and she had, she was so happy. She was always speaking to me. She was always praying along with me. She did not make me feel the absence of my mom. Even the last time we spoke, she sent me a song. She was always sending prayer points and all sorts to me. She sent me a song, We Are Marching to Zion, but I did not understand. After we spoke for some minutes, then after that she now sent this song. It was after her demise. I said, wow. So mommy was speaking in parable to me. And unfortunately, I wanted to bring my children to her by December so that she would see them for the first time. Never know that uh, she won't see them physically. It's, it's so sad that uh, mom is gone, but we believe that uh, her legacy speaks. And uh, I know that she's with the Lord, and may her soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you very much, people of God. Please celebrate how you can do better. Put your hands together for a while. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, that comes to the ends of the testimony and reflection. Thank you, everybody who have spoken one or two words about my heart. Please celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Put your hands together for yourself. And uh, I want to appreciate us for all the words that we've said. I can continue rephrasing and uh, reminding us the word but right about now ladies and gentlemen let's go to the next thing on the agenda which will be item number nine i would like to make welcome once again christ apostolic church south side chicago please celebrate them as they come forward as we render in number nine onward christian soldiers god bless you please raise hands to our feet respectfully as we sing the hymn
1 Corinthians 16. Now about the collection for the Lord's people. Do what I told the collection churches to do. On the first day of every week, each one of you should set aside a sum of money in keeping with your income, saving it up, so that when I come, no collections will have to be made. Then when I arrive, I will give letters of introduction to the man you approve and send them with your gift to Jerusalem. If it seems advisable for me to go also, they will accompany me. After I go through my 
Macedonia, I will come to you, for I will be going through Macedonia. Perhaps I will stay with you for a while, or even spend the winter so you can help me on my journey wherever I go. For I do not want to see you now and make only a passing visit. I hope to spend some time with you, if the Lord permits. But I will stay on Ephesus until Pentecost, because a great door for effective work has opened to me, and there are many who oppose me. When Timothy comes, see to it that he has nothing to fear while he is with you, for he is carrying on the work of the Lord just as I am. No one then should treat him with contempt. Send him on his way in peace so that he may return to me. I am expecting him along with the brothers. Now about our brother Apollos, I strongly urged him to go with you, to go to, to go to you with the brothers. He was quite unwilling to go now, but he will go when he has the opportunity. Be on your guard, stand firm in your faith, be courageous, be strong, do everything in love. You know that the household of Stephanus were the converts in Achaia, and they have devoted themselves to the service of the Lord's people. I urge you, brothers and sisters, to submit to such people and to everyone who joins in the work and labors at it. I was glad when Stephanus, Fortunatus, and Archias arrived, because they have supplied what was lacking from you. For they have refreshed my spirit and yours also. Such men deserve recognition. Final greetings. The churches in the province of Asia send you greetings. Aquila and Priscilla greet you warmly in the Lord, and so does the church that meets at their house. All the brothers and sisters here send you greetings. Greet one another with a holy kiss. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand. If anyone does not let the Lord, let that person be cursed. Come, Lord. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love to all of you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Please put your hands together for Daniel. Ladies and gentlemen, right about now, I believe this occasion would not be completed without a word of exhortation. Please make welcome with the grace of Jesus Christ and with the love of God we have in the house Pastor Shekun Olawiye, all the way from Christ Apostolic Church, South Stony Island. Please celebrate the man of God and come forward to the Lord. children, our great-grandchildren, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please let me quickly charge us together with this word, at least to hope something 
Mama has finished her course, so it's not all about Mama. It's all about us. It's all about I and you. Mama has laid down the sword and she's resting. No more fighting. No more struggling. No more anything. It's rest eternity. Somebody shout amen. amen. But for I and you, what do we need to remind ourselves at a time like this? The Bible says something in Hebrew chapter number 12 and verse 2. And please follow me for a while. I know the Holy Spirit will put something in your spirit that will keep you walking forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the author. I've read this verse many times. But it comes to what is ever new. Anytime you look at it with a hopeful heart, it's new. And because it's new, it has the capacity of bringing news. So it's one of the news of the new word of God, as the Holy Ghost did to me. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Now listen. Who for the job that was set before him. Uh, now the question is, what for? Jesus for the joy that was set before him. He did something. He despised the shame. He endured the cross. Not for anything, for the job that was set before him. I'm glad to let you know there is a joy that is equally set before I and you. But there might be need for me to despise and to endure. The man called Balak said something. Let my death be like that of the righteous. And my hand be like death. 23 chapter of the book of Numbers. I think verse 10. Who for the job that was set before him and deal despise the shame, he endured the cross. So the requirement to attain the joy set before us, just like Jesus. There can't be any other shortcuts. There will be a need to endure and despise. Now when it comes to the, the word endure, it means it's not palatable ordinarily to the flesh. You don't endure what is sweet. You enjoy it. So there can be certain things that we will need to endure to enjoy the joy that was set. Now I'm only telling, just reminding us that there's a joy set before you. Amen. There's a joy. Mama has entered into their joy now. Amen. But for me and for you also, just to remind ourselves that there's a joy set before us. However, just like Jesus paid the price for the price, P-R-I-C-E for P-R-Z-E. -E. He endured. He despised. Then what do I need to endure? The beauty stuff that want to take me off track of that lady. What do I need to despise? Despise the fact that oh, you are not a Jew guy, man. You don't know what's up. We know what's up. There are a lot of what's up that are taking folks off the track. It takes grace to be able to despise the shame of not being part of that cause of what's up, man. You don't know what's up. I know what's up. So this is what's so up. You need to despise. I need to despise. We're not talking about my mama. Mama's finish. Oh. I only want 
to attain the joy that is set before me. Looking unto Jesus, the master example that can never be put to shambles. Who for the joy that was set before him, like every one of us. Like every one of us. There's a joy set before me. There's a joy set before you. However, there's no need to endure the cross. There's need to despise lacking shame that can come. <coughs> Those days when we just knew me born again, I mean, when we're not here, but when we're at the other side of Jordan, you put your Bible, even when your mom is forcing you to church, you put your Bible in your back pocket or you put it somewhere, your friend will not see that you are carrying Bible. Why can't you be carrying Bible? Oh boy, in Bible. But the time came by grace, we are able to say, This is my Bible. This is my Bible. This is He. This is me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is just what we need to do. I was trying to put down a lot of stuff that has been said concerning my mom. Yeah. A symbol of strength. Strong and fearless. Compassionate. A human expression of the Bible, my God. Sacrificial, prayerful, very hardworking, open hearted, a blessing indeed. Look at all these. The question is do any one of us think that Mama have done that in her energy? Look at what the Bible says. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. Eyes have not seen it, ears have not heard it. It has not come to the heart of man what God has in store for them that love him. But by his spirit has he revealed. For the spirit started all things. Yea, the things of God. He went ahead in the verse 10 and said, who, will, who can know the heart of a man? Who can know the spirit of a man? Except by the spirit of a man that is in him. You can't be God except by God in you. Hear what the Lord said in John chapter 10 and verse 35 of the book of John. He called them God, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. Until you have him in your life, you can't be him in your expression. No, it's not possible. You know why dog bark? Because it's wired as a dog. The day you can bark like a dog and your truth will not have, then you become a dog. Because, <laughs> because human being is human doing. You know, the word being is a continuous tense for be. You are marked by what you do. Human being is human doing. So your doing is you. So if you want to actually do, be first. So when you become God, you will naturally express God. And everyone around you will see God. Just like we have seen God in my mom's life. There's, a, there's something inside of her that is emitting those attributes. It is far beyond what the family value can carry. <laughs> have you not seen Pastor Children that is smoking weed? Uh, I mean, Pastor Children, whose father is making serious ways. The, Time is a summer. And by his order, he got a shot. That's not it. So it's beyond bad. It is the spirit. Who oh, for the job that was sent before him. And Jesus is ready to possess us if we can just give him charge. Every one of us. In 1 Timothy chapter number 2, the Lord. We would want every one of us to be saved. If we can only accept him in our life, if we can just create a space for him in our life, our life will reflect wonderful testimony like this. Like that man said, Balak, 
I want my day to be like that of the righteous. Somebody, you are under the sound of my voice. You will do better than Mama. Amen. Don't say amen. amen. I want to do better than Mama. Amen. I want to live longer than Mama. Amen. For all the children and the grandchildren, in the name of Jesus the Christ, you will do 100 times better than her. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say mama is loving, very hardworking. She is moral compass. Man, love education. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, for all this testimony shall be replicated in a better form in the life of the children. Amen. In a far better form in the life of the grandchildren. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please know as I ramble, we are complete in him. 2 and 11 verse of the book of Colossians, right? We are complete in him. Who is the head of all principalities? No, uh, apart from tricycle, no car can drive with three tires. It must be complete. Man, if you have a four-cylinder engine, and you say you want to be economical, you move to block, I don't think you can enjoy that driving. I mean, okay, if you say, okay, you want to let one of your eyes rest, you close one, and you are using one to walk, excuse me, you enjoy that walk. You are complete in Jesus. Somebody wants to live a complete life, you need complete settlement. And in case anyone here today has not met Jesus, we are here just to remind ourselves the pathway, the pathway to enjoy the joy that was set before us. Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. He despised the shame. So, there can be a shortcut for me also, because it has been said, I should look up to him. He's the master example that I need to run my race. And you know the good news? Ephesians chapter number 2, Jesus now sits at the right hand side of heavenly places. Above principalities, above powers, above names that are named in this world and in the world to come. In the name of Jesus, you know what he said? I am going up there to prepare a place for you. That where I am, you too will be there also. That's your feet wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, for you and for me, we will not miss our covenant position. Amen. At the right hand side of every place is where Jesus has gone ahead for us, we will not miss our position there. Amen. Lift up your voice and begin to thank God for the life of Mama well spend. Thank you, Jesus, for your daughter. Thank you, Jesus, for all the children and the grandchildren that has been left. For our hold up, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise for the life we well spend, oh God. For the privileges and the grace your daughter has enjoyed in a lifetime. We say thank you, Jesus. To you alone all the glory. Thank you for the children. Thank you for the wonderful grandchildren. We celebrate your majesty. We say thank you. No one can do this except you. To you alone all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray. This is the word of the Lord of Zerubbabel. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. Chapter 4, verse 6. None of us has the capacity to do this by ourselves. None of us has anything inside of us. The best of our morality cannot carry it. We need grace. We need grace. We need grace. Grace to finish well. Grace to end well. Grace to finish well. Lift up your voice and receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, for every one of us here today, the endowment of grace to finish well. Oh Lord, we receive
receive it in the name of Jesus. That when it will be our time in our full old age, Jesus, it shall be said above that indeed a child of God has gone over. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. Finally, we want to pray for the children and the grandchildren and daddy that mommy has left behind. That the Lord will uphold this family. Amen. The Lord will strengthen this family. Amen. For the children, for the grandchildren, they will live longer than mama. Amen. They will do better than mama. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please join me to pray for the family in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, oh Lord, for your children, grandchildren, daddy, and every member of the family, peace, joy, in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, my father. Holy Spirit will cover this family with the blood of Jesus. There shall be no evil thought concerning them. Every other part of today's program and tomorrow's program will come to your hand. Have your way. Let it be. In Jesus' name we'll pray. In Jesus' name we'll pray. In Jesus' name we'll pray. Amen. And then in the name of Jesus. Amen. The enablement of grace that will keep us going on your track. For everyone here, we receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever represents any form of challenge, everything that is contrary to your will in the life of anyone here today, by the mercy of God, they are terminated. Amen. Somebody, because you are here today, I see your heaven hoping in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mama has finished our course. Lord, we pray for ourselves. We pray for ourselves. As we look unto you, the author and the finish of our faith, who has shown us an example to get the joy that was set before you. Grace to do that, come upon every one of us. Amen. When it will be time for us to go home, it shall be said consigning us that indeed a child of God has gone home. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Tomorrow program is in your hand. Have your way. Amen. Glorify yourself. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus. Let's put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Please put your hands together for Jesus. Now put your hands together for Jesus in the life of Pastor Shedman Lawi. Please put your hands together for Jesus. We can do better, we can do better. Thank you. I appreciate Jesus for a life well spent of my mind. Glad this. I did your job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep standing. Right about now, we're about to sing the very last hymn for today's program. But please do me a favor. At this very point, I want you to sing above your voice. Bring out those sonorous voices, the bass, the soprano, the alto, and the tenor. This hymn that we're about to sing is a very, very powerful hymn, the hymn that reminds us of a home that one day we are all going to. Ladies and gentlemen, right about now, please make welcome the Christ Apostolic Church Choir. Let's put our hands together for Jesus in their life. Please make sure you sing very well and sing loud. God bless you.
distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for yourself. Make it louder, put your hands together for yourself. Thank you all for coming on behalf of the family of our dear mother, beloved wife, auntie, wonderful grandmother, Mrs. Gladys Adidonja, or Light. We want to appreciate you for coming, and by his grace tomorrow, we'll all meet for the final little rest and as well as the reception. My name is still the same, but you will raise my name, popularly known as MC Desire. I am meant to inform you that right about time when we're stepping out, we do have refreshments on the way. Please make sure you pick one while going in. Right about now, please, I would like to welcome uh, Right about now, I would like to welcome Mr. Maxim Nguma as the leader in the vote of thanks, and I will leave us in the hands of the man of God for the benediction. Please put your hands together for Mr. Maxim. Please, you can do better celebrate Mr. Maxim. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, good evening once again. Um, I would like to... Thank you all for coming. Um, you get home safely, and by God's grace, we we'll see you tomorrow in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Right. Lots of thanks. Appreciation to you all. With sincere gratitude on behalf of our family, we want to express our deepest gratitude to each of you for your presence today and the overwhelming love. And support you've shown us during this difficult time. Your comforting words, prayers, and acts of kindness have been a source of strength as we navigate the loss of our beloved mother. Knowing how much she meant to all of you warms our hearts. We are truly blessed to have such wonderful friends and family surrounding us. Thank you for standing with us for your role in celebrating her life and for helping us find comfort in our grief. Love, the family of Gladys Adidoja, a light Thank, Thank you. you. Celebrate Mr. Maxim. You can do better, you can do better. Please put your hands together for you. Tomorrow, we will meet Henry and join ourselves as we celebrate a life well spent of Mama Gladys. Adidoja, all right. And ladies and gentlemen, right about now, I'd like to welcome the man of God one more time uh, for the benediction. Please celebrate Pastor Shegun Olawiye from CAC South Ola. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done today, we say thank you. Thank you. Lord, for the family of Mama. For daddy, we say thank you. Thank you. For family and friends that has come, we say thank you. Thank you. And as we go, let your presence go with us. Amen. He that watches over his will never sleep no slumber. We will watch over us. Amen. Lord, our coming back tomorrow shall be more glorious. Amen. Father, I pray, Lord, for this family in the name of Jesus. The aftermath of the going home of my man shall be a hope and every blessing for the family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For every one of us, the numbers of our days we shall fulfill. Amen. Our timely death is not our portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We will do the glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we'll pray. Amen. Amen. Before we share the grace, I want to appreciate the choir. Thank you very much for your availability. Thank you. Can you share the grace together in fellowship? The grace of God, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Peace. So we say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. God bless you.
Um, my name is Olufumilayo Olaiton Arobadi. I am Gladys Adedogia's um, biological third born. I said biological because she's the mother to many people. We are celebrating the life of an exceptional human being today. My mom was exceptional. She was a selfless human being, very understanding, unassuming. She's one in a thousand. She lived a Christ-like life. There are many things I can say about my mom. I'll remember her because she's very understanding. I'm here to get someone who understands me the way my mother does. I, I, I pray a soul rest in the bosom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ till we meet in eternity. Uh, my name is Yemi. Hola, it's an Adelaire. I'm um, glad it's um, Adeyinka Hola, it's daughter, the last daughter. Um, I don't even know what to say about my mom. She's the best. She's the best of the best. Yanura. Ura Mimi. I don't know what to say about her. She's everything. And we're gonna miss her so much. I have the, you know, I was really honored to spend the last three weeks before she left with her. And that's what's keeping me going. I'm so happy. But I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna miss you, mom. I'm gonna miss her so much. She's the best. Oh, miss you, mom. I'm sorry. My name is Nike Oduba. I'm the first child of our mother and our dad. My mom, Mrs. Gladys Olaito, was a devout Christian. She taught us Christian values that I'll carry with me all the days of my life. My mom was humble. She was hardworking. She was gentle. She was full of love. Even in her gentleness, she would discipline us with firmness, but with love. She was compassionate and she was selfless. I will always remember how she would advise me whenever I was going back to school to remember the child of whom I am. And that will guide me all the days of my life because she was of few words. However, each of her words carried so much weight, so much impact. I will miss my mom, but I will work hard to ensure that I stay steadfast in the Christian faith so that at the end of my life too, I will meet my mom at the feet of Jesus again where we will sing Hosanna and Hallelujah. I miss you, Mom. May your soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for everything you did for us. I will miss you. My name is Yetunde Olaito Nguma. I'm the second child of um, my mom. She gave birth to me after waiting for nine years. Um, she's an incredible woman, very loving, very caring. She'll bend backwards for anyone. She's the best mom. Anybody can ever imagine. I have big plans for her. I have plans for us doing so many things. 
even though she was 83 i don't want her to leave because there are still so many things we plan on doing my mom as gentle as she is she's a fighter she's a warrior and she fought to the a very last breath i'm so grateful to have her as my mom she has impacted me in several ways instilling in me love diligence to care for people to love people unconditional and for that I am eternally grateful. Mommy, I love you. I will miss you every day. But I will not grieve like one that has no faith. Because I know we will meet again at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. When you took your last breath, on September 23rd 2024 I told God that God I judge you faithful because you know best you know best and up till now I'm still speechless I'm still just carrying on because I don't know what happened how you just you know just like that you left us like everybody has been saying we cannot question god because god took you he loved you more than i do and mom i love you i love you and i will forever love and miss you thank you